good afternoon youtubers my name is Kay this is the second video I'll be doing um, for YouTube talking about my plant journey so today I want to introduce you to my jade plants that I have decided to transplant in Lekka there are two reasons why I have decided to go for Lekka for starters well three main reasons the watering system it means a plant will get as much water as it needs there's no underwatering or overwatering secondly uh the plant uh i did have an infest infestation of gnats which is a bug that lives in the soil and I don't know if they would have damaged my plant or not. So that's the reason I decided, another reason I decided to uh, transplant my plants in Lekka. The third being is that soil is really messy. I just can't stand the messiness. You know, if you're to uh, transplant, you know, repot your, your plant, it is just far too messy. So... For that reason, because this jade plant that I'm about to introduce you to, I have had, I got it as a gift for my birthday. So I've had it for a little over two years. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the best angle to introduce this guy to you. Um, I will raise the camera so that you can have a look at it. So. Yeah. So that's this guy. Um, a little over two years, I believe, I've had it. I've had this guy. And I've seen it grown from a tiny little thing to this big guy that I now have. So what I have done is about a week ago, I decided that I wanted to put this plant in, in Lekka. So what I did was I wash the plant. I took it out of the soil. Um, got to the root system, wash the root thoroughly. You've got to rinse all the dirt as much as you possibly can from the rooting system because um, most plants will survive. <coughs> Sorry about that. Most plants will survive um, in water. Um, some plants will get root rot, but the main reason for root rot is that there is soil that's stuck onto the root of the plant that is constantly being saturated when it's in Lekka if, if you don't clean the roots properly. And the soil clinging onto the root is what causes the root rot. So you have to get the root system as clean as possible without damaging the roots, obviously, uh, to make sure that uh, it has a good start in the first instance for when you put it in Lekka. Now, this has been in, as I say, for just a little over a week and the plant is absolutely fine. No issues whatsoever with the plant. I think it's taken to uh, the transformation to Lekka really well. For those of you who might not be sure exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about Lekka, it is a hydro Ponic system, I believe is called, but it's mostly water based. So these are little clay clay balls. Um, you got to wash these thoroughly when you're going to put it in here. Otherwise, you'll get a clogging of uh, just dirty clay at the bottom here if you don't wash properly. Uh, so you you fill it up with water, just about the third, and making sure that the root system. I don't know if I can uh, show you this properly. So here, you just need to make sure that the water is just down here. The root of the jade plant is up here somewhere. And you can see how tall this jar is and where um, the plant comes out at the top. Um, just to give you an idea of how tall this plant is. So this has been really successful. This is one of my plants that has I have successfully put in um, Lekka. That being said, it's only been a little over a week, as I say. So we still have a while to go in terms of the success or failure of this plant. Um, 
I can't see any cons at the moment. It's all positive at the moment because everything has been fine. I did break a few leaves off when I was washing the roots. Um, that's collateral damage. What I've done is I've put those to scab over and I will eventually um, plant those to see if they will gain roots. And I will give to friends if um, they would like. So as I said, this is a jade plant. I can't recall if I mentioned the name. This is from the same jade plant as well. It um, came off, I think it, it must have been two plants in the pot, you know, or maybe this was a, an, an offshoot or something. So this too is also in Lekka and the water come up to about here. The root system is all the way up here. You can see the root. Um, this guy is doing very well as well. No side effects, so to speak, of um, put it, putting um, either these plants in, in, in LECA and in the hydroponic system. It seems to be doing very well. I can't see anything that is re remotely wrong with, um, with this guy so far. So these plants, I would say, has been successfully transplanted into the LECA. There are others, I must tell you, and I will do videos of those as well, that haven't been this successful. And obviously, it is a learning curve for me. And um, I will take you on the journey to let you know how I get on. So these has been my two jade plants. They've, there's several names for these, some of which I don't remember. It's also called the money plant, if I remember correctly. Um, quite a few other names um, that this, these these guys um, carry. Um, easy to propagate, you know, if the leaf break, breaks off, let it dry out, you know, for the, the wound to scab over and then you can just pop that on top of some soil, um, not bury um, in the soil, on top of the soil for it to grow. With these, I've never fertilized these plants. Can you believe it? Um, I've had it for over two years and I've never fertilized the plant. I do intend to fertilize at some point just to make sure that um, they continue to look as good as they do and uh, continue to grow. These guys do grow into really big plants. So um, if you choose to have a jade plant, do bear in mind that they do grow quite well, quite big. They do need watering, not very often. As I say with LECA, I don't recall saying it in this video, but the idea with LECA, the hydroponic system, is that the plant will get water as it needs it. So at some point, the, these plant roots might get acclimatized to, to, be, to living in water. They will get the amount of nutrients that they need, the amount of water that they need. So you can go on holiday for two weeks or maybe even more, knowing that the plant is safe because it will have the hydroponic system. It will have the reservoir that it can get the water that it needs when it needs it. So um, you won't have any... Um, problems with these guys dying off while you're on holiday. Uh, as usual, please do give a like to my video and a, please give a thumbs up. Any questions that you've got that I can answer, please put it in the comments below. I don't know what I can answer to at the moment because I am on a learning journey. Um, there's not a lot that I know about plants. I take care of my own plants. I have failures and successes. Uh, with the LECA, this is a new journey for me. My plants are doing quite well in the LECA. Some better than others. I have to admit that there's some that's not doing too good. But again, you know, it's a um, trial and error for me. And I will keep you posted with what's going on with my LECA journey. Thank you for watching. And please do remember to give a thumbs up and comment if you've got any questions. Thank you. I'm Kay. Thank you for watching.